What's going on guys? So today we're going to be seeing what happens when you put a foreign disc in your car's CD player or you could call it your stereo, whatever you want. And so I'm in my Ferrari today and got a big stack of games and we're basically going to be putting in some different games like Nintendo games, Xbox games, PlayStation games and we're going to see what happens. So let me go ahead and uh, turn on my Ferrari. You can hear that, uh, that, that V10. All right, so don't worry about that, that clicking. Um, you'll get used to it. All right, so I got it on. It's trying to connect to Bluetooth. Don't worry about that. So first of all, so I got a CD, America the Beautiful. So we're just gonna go ahead and make sure, uh, see what's supposed to happen. So when you put in a CD into the CD player, it recognizes CD and then it flashes. So I just put the CD in, and as you can see, it is playing. Uh, I'm not going to turn the volume up, though, because I don't want to get any copyright issues or anything of that kind of mess. So so it is working. I see I can turn the volume up, but I got it at zero. So let's just go ahead and take that out. I will say, if you're, if you're trying to find a new stereo for your car and you want to install it yourself, I'd recommend this Pioneer one. It's pretty, been pretty good to me. I've had it for a couple years. All right, so next one, I'm gonna try a DVD. So Superman Returns. All right, so let's put it in. Let me turn the volume back up, I guess, in case something happens. All right, so it sounds like it's trying to read it. Format read. I'm not sure if you can hear that noise. Error 17. All right, I don't know what that error means. So I'm just gonna ignore it. And we're just gonna assume a DVD can't play. I think there actually are some stereos that have like a screen on them and you can actually play a DVD in your car. Now, I don't think that would be a very good idea to have in your dash because then you might be tempted to watch a DVD while you're driving, which is obviously not something you should do. All right, so let's try a Nintendo game. So we, we play. We play, all right. Format read. I don't even really hear it trying this time. So, an error 11. Man, I need to go figure out what these errors are. Maybe they give me some, some good error messages. I'm always looking for a good error message and give me some description as to why I cannot do this that I'm trying to do. Alright, so this case is... There we go. Okay. So, Wii U, Nintendo Land. Wow, and I just... That was a fail. I just tried to put it in the CD slot, but missed. All right, so format read error 15. Okay, that one it didn't even try to read that one. It just it just got in there and it knew, immediately gave it an error. All right, so here we go. Dreamcast game, hidden and dangerous. And I've had some decent luck with this in some other videos, so. Maybe something will happen. Let me turn the sound up. Warning. This disc is for use only on Sega Dreamcast. Alright, so there's that error message that uh, Sega Dreamcast actually plays out loud. I've heard that on some other consoles I've played this game on. And so that's actually, it's pretty cool. I always think it's pretty cool that it actually gives me a verbal warning that I should not be playing this game on something other than a Dreamcast. So it's much, much appreciated. Dreamcast was ahead of its time in many ways. So let's try a 360 game, Batman. So if you're not gonna play, I'm looking for some more, some more things like that where it you know plays a sound or something tells me what I need to do to play it. All right, so it's trying pretty hard. Error 12. All right, Man, I need to keep these error messages in mind and like go look them up in my stereo manual or something later. I don't know. Unless somebody else wants to try to figure out what those error messages are. We'll see. I might try to go figure it out. Alright, so original Xbox game, Project Gotham Racing. Now wouldn't it be awesome if it just started playing some like pixelized pixelized video on this little screen right here? And I was playing like Uncharted or something on there. That'd be crazy. Error twelve. Alright, so now we're getting some more 
the similar errors. So I think I just got an error 12 for a 360 game as well. So Xbox, original Xbox, Xbox 360, similar, similar errors. It's good to see. Man, I always get annoyed with this. These dang Xbox One games have this disc on like the wrong side. I don't know why, but I guess they're trying to be different. So, it's reading. It's making a little bit of a noise. Air 11. So I think I got that one earlier. I don't remember which disc that was for. It might have been the DVD, but I don't remember. I think I've got an error 12, error 11, and some other error. I don't remember though. So let's move on to the PlayStation games now. So let's start with the PS1 because it was the first one. So obviously we need to start out with that. So Crash Bash. Got my Spyro little graphic in there. No audio. All right, so I forgot my sound volumes down. Um, so it says it doesn't even give me an error. It says no audio, so maybe it's trying to play something. Let's see if I can like skip a track or something. Or search. Nope. So it just says no audio. Let me try putting that in one time, one more time, and see what it, see what it did. I think I read it pretty quickly. No audio, yeah. That's interesting. So I think it's trying to actually actually read it. I don't know if it's like a CD based format disc that it just decides that it's gonna try to read it. And but it doesn't finish and gets no audio. I don't know. Alright, so I got GTA in there for the PS2 right now. So let's go ahead and see. I feel like it's probably gonna do something similar to the PS1 game where it it might recognize it or something, but it's say like no audio. Something like that. Nope, error 11. Alright, so... In case you didn't see what I just put in there, I put it in a quick, kind of quick GTA 3 for the PS2. So, next up, PS3 game. Call of Duty Ghosts. So, this is a Blu-ray disc. Um, so, it might, like... Who knows? Let's see what it does. Might do something crazy. It's gonna blow up my Ferrari. All right, come on. Let's go. Error 11. All right, I'm getting a lot of error 11s now. So let's put that one away. And let's go with Uncharted The Lost Legacy. And I haven't actually gotten to play this game yet, but hopefully I will be able to soon. If, you haven't, if you've played it yet, uh, let me know in the comments if it's good. I haven't I haven't really paid attention much to what's going on with that game, so I'm hoping it's fun when I play it. Hoping it lasts a decent amount of time. Alright, so another error eleven. These last couple games it didn't even really sound like I was trying to read it. It just kinda went in there and it happened. I don't know. Didn't really tell me anything. Alright, so got a PC game, Lego Racers. Now if you never played Lego Racers classic I would highly recommend going back and trying to play that game because it, it was fun back in the day so I'm guessing CD based games like this PC game and the PS1 game I guess it recognizes it as a CD and then just like I don't know then recognizes later that it's not the proper kind of CD and and then it just I don't know recognizes no audio and that's that all right guys so as usual I got a couple surprises to try. So, first up, for the in, the uh, Super Nintendo, I got an NCAA basketball. So, I'm not sure how it's gonna fit. Oh, I actually got a slot right up here. Maybe if I take whatever is in there out and yo, that's, that's a perfect fit. That is a perfect fit. Maybe this way. Sorry, I wasn't showing it very well. That is a perfect fit, but it's not showing up, so that's not good. Um, well, I guess that's not going to work. Got one more. Got an NES game, Super Glove Ball. Man, that fit, fits even better in there. It's even got like some spring action, like an original NES. 
Dang, that's kind of cool. Well, it doesn't load or anything, so that's unfortunate. Although not surprising. I mean, while we're on the topic of Super Nintendo, let me know in the comments if you were able to pre-order a Super Nintendo Classic. I was trying to get on that, but then they released all the pre-orders in the middle of the day and the middle of the night, and I, I was not able to get one, unfortunately. So I'm going to have to go stand in line the night before or something like that, which is going to suck. But got to do what you got to do. All right, so last but not least, as usual, I got some money. And so we're going to see if this CD player takes money as a form of payment. All right, so it's going in there. It's like not even it's not even trying to take it though. That's a smart CD player. Well actually no, that's not smart. If it was smart, it would be taking my money. Sending it back off to its makers. Alright then, well, I guess you don't want my money. That's fine with me. I'll keep my twenty. Alright guys, so as always, thanks for watching. Make sure to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and make sure to subscribe to see future content and also let me know in the comments what else you want to see in the future, any other consoles or anything I haven't tried, and thanks for watching.